Welcome to today's lesson on character traits. At the end of this lesson, you will understand what a character trait is and be able to identify character traits in characters you read about. There are many ways to describe a person, such as physical traits, actions, attitudes, and behaviors. The term character traits refers to the attitudes and behaviors that make up one's personality. Let's look a little closer at character traits. Well, this guy looks really happy. That is a word that describes the character. So that means that happy could be a character trait. But it's a bit more complicated than that. We can only say this guy is happy if his behavior and attitude indicate he is happy. Usually, we need to look at and read about a character carefully before we can determine one character trait that might describe him. We need to look at someone's behavior and attitude when we look at character carefully, when we are reading, we start to see behavior and attitudes that make up their personality. This is how we find character traits. It's also important to know that we all have character traits, and we all have good and bad character traits. So here are some examples. If a character is constantly upset at their friend in a novel you are reading, you could determine that the character is angry, like the first character on the screen. If a group of girls in a novel are constantly having fun, dancing, and laughing, you might say that the characters are playful. If a woman in a novel is doing the most outrageous and funny things, then you might say she is zany. These are examples of character traits. But there are lots more, both good and bad. Here are some examples. Remember, characters often have both good and bad character traits. Character traits are descriptive words, or adjectives, that describe one's personality. That's a key component to remember. Sometimes when you are reading a novel or short story, you will be asked to find a character's character traits. There are four elements you should look at to help you evaluate a character. What the character says, what the character thinks, what the character does, and what other things others think about the character are all important. Let's look at this example. A character in a short story named Jenna always says good day friend to every person she meets, even strangers on the street. Jenna, who loves to play tennis, thinks very positively all the time. She even thinks she can win when she's losing a tennis match. Jenna also does good deeds for her neighbors without being asked. The neighbors sometimes wake to find that their garbage has been moved to the curb on garbage day. Jenna takes the initiative to move it for them before they even get out of bed. The neighbors adore Jenna. They're happy to have her living next door because they trust her and love her attitude. Now, from this example, can you determine some of Jenna's character traits? If you said that Jenna is kind or that she is helpful, then you've started to understand what a character trait is. All right, let's review. We're gonna review using multiple choice questions. To what does a character trait refer? A, a person's age. B, an aspect of a person's attitude or behavior. C, a person's way of speaking. Or D, a person's physical appearance. Take a minute to think your answer through. Okay, do you have an answer? The answer is B. A character trait refers to aspect of a per aspects of a person's attitude or behavior. Okay, let's try another one. Which of the following is not a character trait? A, student, B, determined, C, sincere, or D, patient? Take a minute to find your answer.
Okay, are you ready to have the answer revealed? Did you get it correct? The answer is A. A student is a type of person, not a character trait. Moreover, student is not a descriptive word, so therefore, it's not a character trait. All character traits have to be descriptive words. Okay, in this multiple choice question, you must carefully read the passage and then determine your answer based on the evidence in the text. Let me read the passage. Jake was, a, was the kind of kid to sit back and let the world happen. He sat in his desk at school and didn't answer any questions. He always let his friends choose where they would sit in the cafeteria at lunch. When he went out with friends, he didn't seem to care about the movie they went to see. He just let his friends figure it out, and he followed along. When asked what job he wanted when he finished school, he just shrugged and said, I don't know. His dad was starting to get very frustrated. Jake didn't seem to have an opinion on anything. Okay, based on the text, identify one character trait that Jake has. A, opinionated. B, caring. C, friendly. Or D, uncertain. Take a minute to determine your answer. Okay, are you ready? What's your answer? Did you get it right? Jake isn't opinionated because he doesn't have an opinion in the text. <clears throat> There's no evidence in the text that he is caring. And although Jake has friends, he doesn't show behavior that would indicate he is friendly. That is why the best answer is D. In the text, Jake can't make a decision so that makes him uncertain. At the beginning of this lesson, we set out some goals. Have you achieved these goals? Do you understand what a character trait is? Are you able to identify character traits in a character after reading about that character? If you still haven't achieved these goals, review the lesson again or ask for help from your teacher.